hello and welcome to the channel today what we will be discussing is the topic related to the transformers and the topic is copper saving in auto transformers okay so as you know that if we want to approach the weight of the, the copper savings then we need to approach the weight of the copper somehow then if we approach towards the weight of the copper then we need to take the factors which affect the weight of the cop weight of something then the 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 weight will be affected by the area that is the cross sectional area of the copper winding as we know that current is proportional to area so one factor is area which is directly proportional to the current so the weight is directly proportional to the current and the second factor is the length length is directly dependent upon the number of turns of the copper winding okay so as the length of the uh, copper winding is more the number of turns will be more uh, so it is directly proportional to that and the length is also directly proportional to the weight so in a way we can say that weight is directly proportional to the number of turns so as in if you take the collective effect of both these things together then we can say that weight is directly proportional to the multiplication of current and area current and um, that uh, number of turns okay so let's take this case by case first of all we will take the two winding transformer as you can see in the diagram that this is primary winding this is secondary winding with the n1 n2 number of turns a current i with with the, with the currents i1 and i2 so from here we can see that the weight of the primary is directly proportional to i n1 and n1 into i1 and if the weight of secondary winding is directly proportional to n2 i2 so the total weight of the second two winding transformer will be equal to n1 i1 plus n2 i2 so <clears throat> this is the total weight of the two winding transformer now we will go for the auto transformer that is our case number two as you can see from the diagram that oh um, sorry this is i1 as you can see from the diagram that this is uh, a step down auto transformer with the n1 n2 primary and secondary number of turns and current i1 and i2 the current the number of turns in a to b section will be n minus n2 this is and the current into the bc section will be from the kcl's law i i2 minus i1 okay so from here we can see that this is the primary winding of ours and this is our secondary winding so the total weight in this auto transformer will be n1 minus n2 into may the current passing through that area that is i1 plus the secondary winding is n2 into the current passing through is i2 in minus i1 okay so this is the total weight of the auto transformer winding now we will move to the the formula through um, by which we will be calculating the percentage of copper saved or the amount of copper saved in the auto transformer okay so the order saving of copper is equal to weight of copper in auto transformer divided by my weight of copper in two winding transformer which is from the previous formulas we can write this amount that is the this is the weight of copper in auto transformer and this is the weight of copper in two winding transformer by solving this we will be seeing this by opening up these formulas and since we know that from the MMF balance equation that n1 i1 is equal to n2 i2 okay by putting this into the above equation we will be getting this 2 i2 n2 minus 2 n2 i1 divided by 2 i2 n2 if we divide this whole by this we will get 1 minus i2 by i1 which is also equal to 1 minus n1 by n2 and n1 by n2 is also known as the k or the turns ratio of the auto transformer which is 1 minus k order is always less than equal to always less than 1 okay so we can say that w auto is w auto is less than w2 winding transformer okay 